Hello and welcome to SnowRunner Mods where we take a look at the latest modifications released for SnowRunner. Since my last SnowRunner Mods upload, we've had new content added to SnowRunnerMods.io and we're going to jump in and take a look. If you do want to check any of these mods out for yourselves, a link will be provided in the descriptions below. Okay, so first on the list, we have a new 6x6 pickup called the IX 0.65 Mini Monster by Poppy Master aka DW77. This mod comes with a wide range of customization options to try to help you get the look that you want. However, some of them can be ridiculously overpowered. But if you don't want it OP, you can keep it at stock configurations and it will perform as similar to the Chevrolet Apache. You should be aware though that there are some slight issues with this mod which will be addressed in future updates, but overall it will perform just fine. Next, we have a generic 1500 pickup truck by Ranger. This is an actual model of the 2019 Dodge Ram 1500 Rebel but just without the branding badge for obvious reasons. It's designed as a scout vehicle, so it uses all the standard scout trailers, and Ranger has confirmed that it will not be an overpowered truck. You know what, I think it's good that he's mentioned that because I think OP trucks takes the fun away from the game. Maybe it's just me, but that's how I feel. This model was actually purchased from Turbo Squid. This is why the details look absolutely stunning. I like this mod, this is a good one. Next, we have the Toyota 4Runner Off-Road by Franklin Diaz. There's no details on this mod. It seems similar to the SUV released by TNB Froggy just last week, except he didn't have the interior modeled. And by looking at the comments, there seems to be add-ons and collision issues. So I'd say this one is still a work in progress. The next new mod for today is really cool. We've got a fully functional inclinometer. This is gonna add more detail and immersion while trailing through rough terrain. So this is going to take the place of the bobblehead add-on and show you the actual angle at which the vehicle is currently sitting at. Really cool, I like it. Okay, moving on to maps, we've got a new map called Limes Mud Park by WhatLimes211. There are no tasks or objectives on this map as it's purely just for playing in the mud. You get 6 trucks to start off so you can sell them to get money and on the map you've got a garage, a trailer store and a fuel station along with a course that has various different obstacles. Next, we have another new map by Devil Driving Hell called Cherokee Trails. This is an extreme rock crawling map that comes with one garage and many rocky trails. If you're going to use this map, you need to install your own rock crawler as it doesn't come with the Ford Bronco in the image. And the last mod for today is again another map called Stony Creek by Remo667. The landscape here is made up of rocky cliffs and tight roads on one side of the county. On the other side, it opens up to a large desert that looks easy but proves difficult to get loads across since there are no roads on the sand. There are 20 different missions to complete here with most having 2 or 3 different stages involved. There's also difficult vehicle rescues, 6 watchtowers to find, 2 high saddle hauls and all with lots of different route choices with varying difficulties. Future plans for this map will be hooking it up to other maps to create 2 regions with 4 maps each. Just wow, this looks really really good. Oh man, I can't wait for mods on console. And that's it for new mods and mod updates for SnowRunner today. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all the latest mod releases and updates here on the Delta Gaming channel. Also, if this was helpful, please drop a like on the video as this helps promote my content and I'll see you in the next one.